I first grabbed a candlestick holder from my local thrift store. I'm going to be using some Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. And I am just going to give the candlestick holder two good coats of this color. You want to dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then allow everything to completely dry. I then grabbed this plastic pumpkin from Walmart. Go ahead and just cut that hanger right off. And what I'm going to be doing is cutting the face right out. So I am using my heat tool just to kind of help warm up the plastic a little bit. This way it'll be a lot easier for my box cutter to just go right through that plastic. So if you're going to do this, just make sure that you have a very sharp box cutter. And as always, be careful while doing this. And this is what it looks like with the face completely cut out. And then I just went around it and painted it with Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. I wanted a darker base coat, so that's why I did this. This only took one coat. And then you want to go ahead and let that completely dry before going on to the next step. And once that was dry, now I'm going over this with Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin. I did not paint this to perfection. I really wanted some of that black to peek through that orange. And again, this only took one coat. Go ahead and just paint the whole pumpkin and allow that to completely dry. Now go ahead and grab that candlestick holder again. I am using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue, just placing it on the top of that candlestick holder. And then go ahead and place the pumpkin right on top. You want to let that completely dry for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. And then I found this child's witch hat from Dollar Tree placed inside a color changing light that came from Dollar Tree and then just go ahead and place that witch's hat right on top. Now you could always hot glue the witch's hat onto your pumpkin but since I have the color changing light inside I decided to skip hot gluing that hat but this is what it looks like with the lights off. I think it came out so amazing. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. Look at how pretty that is even without the light on the inside. It's so gorgeous. But if this inspired you, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.